Forget what you learned in school. Never mind what your parents told you, and disregard what your friends say. From now on, the only From people now on, you, need to, on, to you need to listen to are these guys. Are these guys? For the next several minutes, they'll take you on a journey through the political jungle. And when your journey is over and you're safe at home, they promise you'll be stronger, smarter, and just plain better. So buckle up, hang on to your ears, because your journey starts now. 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 support the Second Amendment, then join us Wednesday, April 13th for our annual Second Amendment March from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Capitol Steps. There will be speakers, vendors, and gun right groups, as well as musical entertainment. Join your fellow patriots for a march around the Capitol Mall starting at noon. Meet with your state representatives to express your support of the Second Amendment. So bring the family, your friends, and your firearm to the Capitol Wednesday, April 13th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Visit SecondAmendmentMarch.com for more information. Good evening, everyone, and sorry for the problems we had. I'm getting nothing in the feedback here. How's your audio? Perfect. I have nothing. I can't hear you. Oh, uh, yes, you can. No, turn me up a little bit. Yeah, you. Now I got turn, left and right there. Down. That's much better. All right. Thank you. Now s- stop complaining. I, you know, perhaps we've never met. Yeah, perhaps. Perhaps you wish we never met. You're listening to Ad Odd Show. I'm Nate. I'm Brian. <laughs> That's happened? not quite right. All right. It's Thursday, March 10th, 2016. We're in Freedom Studios on the 15th floor of the Patriot Towers in Liberty City. Where are we at, Nate? Uh, Budapest. Budapest, the land of my forefathers. At least part of them came <laughs> from, you know. 20%, yeah. Less than that. Oh, okay. My great-grandfather was from uh, Hungary. Really? Yeah. Wow, that's exciting. He lived around Budapest. Did he? Yeah. My, no. mom, my mom actually went there. She loved it. To it Budapest? Quite, yeah, in, in the uh, probably the late 80s, early 90s. You know? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It was a yeah. fairly progressive communist country at the time. That's all I'll say. It's much better now. <sighs> all right. Well, that's yeah, that was... That's what we're doing? <laughs> that was terrible. Yeah. That's what we're doing? So what are we talking about? Uh, primaries, uh, debates, Donald Trump steak, Donald Trump, ooh, and water. That sounds good. You know what I had for dinner today? I didn't have steak. You didn't? No. What'd you have? Uh, Donald Trump steak. No, you did not. I you did. Had I had King. some Donald Trump water. You did not. And yeah. I read the Donald Trump magazine. I saw the onion ring container. You had yeah, no, Burger I had, King. I had Burger King. Right. See, Donald Trump has steaks. Burger King has. A ten-piece chicken nugget for a dollar forty-nine. Yeah, it's it's potatoes, potatoes. Yeah. Right? Well, right. Yeah. I mean, chicken nuggets are but basically can, steak. Can you go to Walmart and buy a Trump steak? No, no but you, you can. Can you go to Walmart and buy Burger King chicken nuggets? Uh, I Pro- can, probably, I, probably not. <laughs> right, right. So, what's the difference? I, I, I have no. Are you idea. saying Trump is better than Burger King? I'm saying that people are saying that Trump doesn't really have steaks; that he just has a name on some steaks that he buys at wherever he he buys and he sells them to his own restaurants. Which, that's what every. Which, which, that's what which, everybody does. Yeah, who doesn't do that? Every, and, and he doesn't actually go out and drill water wells and pump water into his water bottles. He doesn't he, he do that by hand himself. Water, yeah. Really? Do you realize that most products, uh, and especially if you're talking like store brand products and those sorts of things, right? Which Trump isn't trying to be a store brand. That's not my point. No, but there are a few manufacturers that make the products for a ton of brand labels. Yeah, absolutely. Right? And they run I mean, that's what private you, label lines. That's what you go at Kroger's. You buy a Kroger brand. It's made by some, you know, big company somewhere yeah. else. And you, who knows I, I mean, do you think Kroger actually has manufacturing no. plants to make every single no. item? They it don't. just happens to look and taste exactly like the name brand one? Yeah. Sometimes, I mean, really? sometimes better. Oh, a lot of times better. I... And for a better price. Shop Kroger's. Some, <laughs> we want to thank our new sponsors to the show. <laughs> Kroger's. Kroger and Trump Steaks. Mm-hmm. I wish. No. Yeah, well, I would eat one. I, don't, I mean, I don't care really. Maybe some really... maybe some Trump Steak with some Kroger lobster. <laughs> That's what I'm looking for. Does Kroger have lobster? I don't know. Surf and turf. I'm sure they have lobster. Yeah. But did, so. What? How, how did, how did, 
Did hmm. you watch the uh, any of like the election night coverage, the primary on Tuesday? I, and specifically, did you see any of Trump's press conference? I I I saw snips in pieces. So, so one, I mean, one of the issues is he he brought out all of his products. Yeah, I saw. He had them on a but, table, yeah. right? And uh, it, the, what'd you think? Kind of weird, right? I don't know why he do do that. Why would he care that Rubio made some snarky comment about? You know, he doesn't really know. have any businesses, and then he comes out there. I mean, that's 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 like equivalent to oh, he already did talk about his penis. That's, yeah, that's the same, it's the same thing. You know, <laughs> oh, Which, really? By the way, small, you know, by the way, was one of the funniest things. No, it was it's, the funniest it's thing I have history. ever heard a president uh, or a, a candidate. presidential candidate or anyone in politics yeah. say. Honestly, yeah. it was amazing. Um, on the other hand, we don't know what they might have said 150 years ago when nothing was recorded. No, I, mean, I said it's been... the only thing that I've heard. Yeah, oh, the funniest yeah, thing yeah, that I've heard. Yeah, you you weren't around then, were you? No, yeah. no, and I haven't heard the recordings either. No, there weren't any. We'll get to that later, but will we? Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't know. I mean, he he. I think what it is is he thinks he's such an extraordinary success that he cannot live. With somebody telling him he's not right. and, and him not uh, rebutting. And that's, you know, that's low self-esteem. That's yeah, narcissism. Yeah, I think that's so. all the, kinds of issues. The, there were... Which uh, I think all politicians there, have to there, some was, extent. I, there was an article about Trump from many years ago, like well before he was... Presidential candidate. Right. Uh, and I don't remember who the reporter was or who, who wrote it or whatever, but they said pretty much everything that we're thinking about him is... This guy is somebody that needs to be in the spotlight. Right. Got to have attention. His his goal in life is for everybody to know him and to love him, and to love him, and to think he's great. Uh, you know, he's a nice guy, though. He knows words. He's educated. He knows words. He knows a lot of words. I I know words. I don't know if he does said. know a lot of words. Words, actually. He knows word. He does know words. Do you see his his former butler was interviewed? Uh, no. <laughs> what did he or she say? He he didn't. Uh, can a female be a butler or are they Certainly. a buttless? No, they're a butler. Okay. I don't I don't know, but <laughs> Can they be a soldier? <laughs> or are they a soldieress? It's not it's not even close to the same thing. Well, come on, it's a gender neutral. I don't I don't know if it is, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's like, like cook. Host. Cook. Host. She's a cook, he's a cook. They're both cooks. Okay. That's fine. I don't know. I don't know words. His like butler Trump said. No, I mean, nothing really. He likes oh, him. Geez. That's all. I assume Trump gave him a bonus or something. <laughs> Say nice things. Well, maybe he just withheld the beatings yeah. for that week. It, it was a really awkward interview because uh, whoever was interviewing him was like, so are you going to watch the huge debate tonight? He says, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why would a... Trump's butler agreed to be interviewed. I think that would be risky. Because what other notoriety do butlers get? And what what I, I would be know, risky about it? It was former. Oh, he was a former former butler. butler. Gotcha. Okay. No, no longer Trump's one. butler. Gotcha. Okay. He said Trump treats all of his employees really well. It's very generous. He's probably a nice guy. Yeah, I assume. So. I, I hear I that. Know. I hear that from people. Generally, on a one to one, you know, when he's not in front of a crowd, he's. No, I will say, I mean... Supposed to be a decent guy. I'm not trying knows? to say I'm as good as Trump, but I have never been rude to one of my butlers. No, I, I, I've seen you with your butlers. No, you haven't. No, I've never <laughs> seen you with a butler. That would be impossible. That'd like be seeing you with the Easter Bunny. Although... No, that's more likely. <laughs> more probably. I could at least get somebody to dress up like the Easter Bunny and take right. a picture with me. I can't get somebody to dress uh, up like a butler. I'll do it. Okay. You got to pay me. So big primary in Michigan for local folks, right? I, I'll dress up as a French maid. Ah, uh, yeah, no. Okay. Um, what now? Primary Michigan. Michigan primary. primary yeah. It went pretty our, much our how I expected, state. right? Trump won. I guess huge, yeah. pretty much. I don't know, uh, Kasich huge. didn't do as well as I thought he would. Yeah. Yep. Bernie Sanders did pretty darn well. Yeah, that was surprising to some people. Yep. Yeah, it didn't surprise me too much. There's there's a lot of stupid people here. Actually, so what really happened and what is happening around the country with Bernie Sanders is people are actually voting for Bernie Sanders who are not going to vote for him in the yeah I in, think so. in, in the uh the regular election cuz they don't want Hillary to there lots of libertarians that think that's smart for some reason lots of 
Republicans that think that's smart for some reason. Voting for Bernie Sanders because – and I don't know why if they think that Trump's going to have a better chance to beat Bernie than Hillary. I don't think that's true. Or they think if the well, Democrat well, wins know. that Bernie would be better than Hillary. I don't think that's she's, true. She's got the making history thing on her side. Yeah. Bernie Sanders is is a outspoken socialist. Well, we've had dozens of how, socialists. How, no, no. No, just not really. Yeah, we've had socialists, but not that have said I'm a socialist. I mean, I don't think he said that, right? He's a democratic socialist or yeah, something. There's, there's no difference. No, I know there's no difference, but he owns up to it. He's honest about it. Yeah, but I mean, he put democratic on it, and somehow that placates people. And they go, "Well, that's good because we're well, a sure, democracy." Because we live in a democracy, oh, oh, well, oh. which we don't. No, we don't. But then again, we don't really have a free market either. We are a socialist democracy already there's certainly certainly some some socialist things that is true so uh, speaking of socialism i've been seeing this image go around uh the last couple days anyway i think it's been around for a while but basically it's it's a uh, it's a rebuttal to socialism being bad because it means people will steal from you force you to give your hard-earned money essentially to the government to give to other people and the rebuttal mm. is that's not socialism. You know, use a dictionary, look up socialism. Socialism is, hey, I have way too much money, and so I'm going to freely share it with other people because I know I have too much, and it's going to make a big I've difference. I've never in your heard life. that definition. That is not socialism. I never heard that definition. Me either. I never heard anybody freely giving up their money. I mean, no, no, no. That happens all the time. That's rarely. the thing. But that's not socialism. It's rarely. It is thing. not rare. It's not. I. It's not rare. People. That's the thing, is people are way more generous than you think because most people, unlike Donald Trump, uh, I disagree. Don't have to tell everybody how generous they are. Right? How many charitable charitable organizations are there that people donate money to? Yeah, uh, people that are rich and people that aren't and, rich. And those charitable donations get by on the donations of middle class people giving fifty dollars or twenty dollars. What's that have to do? With, that's my point. What's as opposed to, to a guy who's making like Warren Buffett. Who gives a lot of his money and and what's his face from Microsoft gives a lot of their money away? That's rare. I, but after I, you I, have a few, not, it is not rare. Uh, yeah, to give away billions of dollars. Yeah, to give away a, billions. Who said anything about giving away? Okay, yeah, I guess the, that's what I'm. It's talking very about. rare for somebody to give away two trillion dollars. Yes, it is. You're right. That yeah. is super rare. Thank you. But it's not rare for people. Record that again. Say it's it again. Not rare Say it for again. people to I donate money right. for anybody in any. No, in, I mean, yeah. Even homeless people donate money to help other homeless people. I've seen the videos. Sure. But I'm talking about, oh, I have so much money that I want to give a lot of it away. Right. Most people. I give, agree. Most people give a little something. That, and, and that's kind of the point that that is not what socialism is. But that that's the point of this image. Right. Hey, well, uh, I remember now it, you, <laughs> you've seen the picture of the Bernie Sanders uh, yard sign that was cut in half and they left a note on the other right. half saying I didn't have one. So right. I took half of your sign. You'll understand. It was it was the response to that saying that's not socialism. It's not stealing. Socialism is people freely giving their money the to other people. That? Morons on the internet. I what never, I'm telling I you is that's that. not socialism. No. I don't care if you saw it or not. No, I agree with you. That's not socialism. That's the only point I was making. I don't know why you're I bringing know, up all these arguments because we have that are nothing irrelevant. else to talk about. Listen, we have a whole list. Look, we have nothing. We have we have nothing. We have J a whole jury list. nullification. But so what? Uh, and thirty other things I'm, I'm, in there. Uh, but I guess if I'm, that's what you want. I'm nullified do. by the whole discussion. I don't think you even know what that is. I'm not sure what it is. All right. I'm not sure what a jury is. But, yeah, I, it, socialism is taking by force other people's money and distributing it to other people that don't have money. Yeah. In the hopes that everyone is is equally poor. Well, the sad part is that's not the actual hopes, right? The people that implement it, I think, a lot of times really think it will work this time. We just have to have someone like Bernie Sanders who isn't afraid of the banks. And that'll make it work. Right. Because if you take the people that have the money and you demonize them, right, and then make it so they don't have the money anymore, then you can take the money from them.